Hello YouTubers, uh, welcome to one of my reviews once again. This is going to be uh, a very quick review, but it's going to be a review nonetheless on the Koenig Fluid Hair Tripod that I got today. I haven't had along with it to be honest, um, that's why, hence the reason it's going to be a quick review. Um, I'll give you a basic uh, look at the features and uh, a little bit of footage and uh, show you what it can do. Uh, I hope you enjoy this review. Uh, this is the tripod, not fully extended, um, it does extend a little bit more. Um, but just to I give you an overview from top to bottom, um, so you can see the uh, the tripod. A little bit closer look at the uh, the head. One thing I will say about the um, the head itself, which to me is the most important, but it's very very well made. Um, seems very sturdy, very solid. Um, very very impressed with that. Um, so that's that's a plus. One thing um, I did read when I was looking at the um, the online reviews was um, that the friction, um, the drag was quite uh, quite stiff, even on its um, easiest settings. Um, I wouldn't say it's too too stiff, as you can see um, from the video. I am I am moving it at, at one point with with one finger, so it's not too stiff. Um, and remember, if it is too loose, that's that's when you get the issues. Um, so I didn't really find that um, a major problem. I think they've, uh, I think Koenig have just got, have got that just about right. Um, this is a little look from the top. You see the uh, the, the plate on the top. If you uh, unscrew um, the bolt on the right, click from the left hand side, and it just slots out. Um, really solidly built, really um, nice and heavy and tough. Um, and then just uh, slots back in. You press the button on the left hand side as you can see and it clicks back in. Um, tighten the nut uh, and away you go. If you just look around this side you can see the button that you push in um, but you need to you need to undo the clip first. Uh, sorry the bolt on the other side. Clips in and slots out. Um, really really easy like I say. Uh, nice and solid. Clips back in. Um, tighten the, uh, the nut back up um, and away we go. Um, excellent. And this is the tripod fully extended. Um, extends very easy. It's the knobs on the way on the um, the legs just turn and uh, the legs slot out. And you can see the support uh, bar in the middle, the three prong support bar, which keeps it nice, uh, nice and sturdy and firm. So it's pretty solid even when it's uh, when it's fully extended. Now I love this function. I'm not sure if other fluid heads um, have this function, as this is the first one I've ever had. Um, but it sort of sits on like a ball, and if you undo this um, bolt underneath, you see how it um, it, it tilts um, ever so slightly in all directions and spins. Um, and then when you um, you tighten the bolt back up, when you've got it in the spot you want it to, it sits there uh, very nicely. And the reason for that is so that you can get the um, the little bubble um, in the middle, so it's. Um, it's nice and level, so you don't have to mess about with the um, the legs, uh, which I think is a really uh, a really neat little function uh, on the tripod. And this is how you pan and tilt, and uh, how you adjust the tightness. This contraption on the uh, the right um, actually um, adjust the the tilt. Obviously, the tighter you have it, the harder it will be to um, to tilt them down. Just make sure you've got the bolt underneath. Um, Tightened, or it will move. Um, that's the tilt. Um, like I say, the the tighter you have it, the harder it is. This little one, the screw here, is the pan. You can pan left and right and have it um, as tight as you uh, want. It will go fairly tight. Um, and like I say, it um, it doesn't go massively loose, but uh, certainly um, loose enough. And it's uh, it's as simple as that. It's got a nice smooth action. Um, nice flowing. Um, Nice flying action, so I'm very pleased. Now this is um, this is a little bit of footage. Now I'm no expert, and it does take a bit of technique. This is about the second or third time that I've um, I've panned and tilted with it, but um, it's not bad. Um, and I've got a very 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 light camera on top, um, but I think with a bit of practice, I'll be able to hone my skills in and. Um, and be a lot better, but it, um, I think you'll agree it's uh, it, it's not bad um, to say it's uh, a first attempt. Um, I will um, do some more footage and, and, and upload it to, uh, for you to have a look on. So in summary, um, like I say, I've only uh, had the tripod a couple of hours, 
Um, but I'm very impressed with it. Um, I'll do a more in-depth uh, overview of the tripod once um, I've used it a little bit more, and I'll up upload some um, some more footage um, of the pan and tilt um, once I've uh, I've got some. But first impressions is that I'm quite impressed with it. Um, it cost me £110 from Amazon um, and it arrived uh, this morning. So like I say, very pleased with it. Um, first impressions are it's going to be a very, very good tripod. Um, please subscribe um, if you enjoy my videos. Um, if you want me to do any more videos or anything, just, just let me know um, and I'll see what I can do for you. So I, I hope you enjoyed this brief, um, but hopefully um, productive uh, review on the Koenig fluid head tripod. Thanks for watching.